you say your name? <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> first of all, I want to thank Senator Inouye and Mrs. Inouye for taking the time to be here. I know that he said he's going to have to get back uh, for an intelligence committee briefing, so feel free to leave uh, Senator uh, whenever you have to do so. But I am really pleased to have all of you here tonight, and I especially want to thank a couple of my friends who are here uh, all the way from uh, the San Jose or Silicon Valley area. First of all, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Barry Chang and Mrs. Chang. Um, Barry is on the city council in uh, Cupertino, California. <laughs> recently returned from uh, his duty in, um, I'm sorry, Iraq or Afghanistan? Iraq. Iraq. Uh, Barry Lee. Oh, I mean, I don't know. And his wife, Sally. Ms. Lee, is right, Sally right there. Oh, no. Again, thank you very much. And again, uh, <laughs> He just came back from his tour of duty in Iraq, and we thank you very, very much for your service, uh, Otto. Um, you've already been introduced to, uh, to um, William Chong. William is a four-term uh, member of the State Assembly in Connecticut, and is now the leading candidate for the U.S. Senate uh, to take the place of Joe Lieberman when he retires. 2012. So remember William Tong, U.S. Senate candidate in Connecticut. <laughs> Nancy, uh, minority leader Nancy uh, Pelosi was here, and I really appreciate her taking the time to be here as well. And we have uh, from the Congressional delegation, the chair of uh, KPAC, uh, Congresswoman Judy Chu. Yeah. And, uh, the person I appointed to the planning commission for the city of San Jose. And uh, now. Uh, regretted it. No. <laughs> Decision. Couldn't answer the questions uh, as a personnel committee, but it did well as planning commission. But all of you know Congressman Mike Honda, also Chairman Emeritus of KPAC, the Congressional yeah. Agency. Uh, let's see, Mark Kim. Mark Kim. Mark Kim. Mark Kim. Mark Kim. House of Delegates in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and uh, Woo, Virginia. thank you very much. <laughs> you know, he's the kind of candidate you want to be, with no opposition in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I know he's going to, he did a great job in his first term in the House of Delegates. He'll be easily re-elected re in uh, November of 2010-12, and he's doing a great job down there. Um, and the former state senator from Minnesota, Me Moo. Me Moo. here in Washington, D.C., as all of you know. He is now with, uh, with the uh, Asian Health Alliance here in, um, in, in D.C. So. Um, and of course, um, let's see, I've got list and I think covered everybody except the one that's really important for me personally and that's my wife Denny. Yeah. <laughs> the next person I'd like to introduce you to is the heir to my mortgage. <laughs> our, our son David Mineta. For uh, 15 years, David was executive director of Asian American Recovery Services 
the Drug Abuse Prevention and Treatment Center in uh, San Mateo County. And uh, then he got interviewed for uh, becoming the uh, Deputy Director for Demand Reduction in the White House Office of uh, National Drug Control Policy. Uh, they picked someone else first time around, but fortunately that fellow didn't make it through the vetting process. <laughs> so we <laughs> can take it. Maybe second legs, but that's all. <laughs> that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. So David's now a deputy director of the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy. His wonderful wife, uh, Christine Wong Manetta. <laughs> Saw the star of their family, Lauren Manetta. And I'm really very, very touched by the turnout. Not as touched as all of you have been to be here tonight. <laughs> but in any event, uh, Gary Locke and I, as you know, uh, formed America's Opportunity Fund in 2007 to support progressive candidates uh, at the statewide level and for federal office. So um, we've been doing that since 07 and then um, he had to retire from his position uh, with the AOF when he became Secretary of Commerce and so uh, in any event <clears throat> um, we have a large contingent who will be running in 2012. Some people who ran in 2010 and others who are going to be newly uh, announcing to run in 2012 as well. And so uh, all of the proceeds from the AOF go to supporting these very, very can fine candidates <coughs> from across the country. So uh, again, thank you very much for your generosity in helping uh, these candidates like uh, William Tong and others who will be uh, announcing soon. So again, uh, let me just thank all of you for the wonderful help and support, advice and counsel that you have given me over a long period of years. And uh, Richard, I'm sorry, see Richard Choi Birch here as well. But in any event, thanks to all of you for being here tonight and helping me celebrate in this wonderful way the uh, 20th celebration of my 60th birthday. <laughs>